you, bananas. <laughs> you deserve this. You know it. I hate you. I got you again. I am never going to stop going for bananas until he formally retires. See you later. The Kenny, Evan, and Johnny situation is a little scary to me. They're really good friends outside of this. They come in here with numbers. And no matter how much muscle or brain you have, numbers is very important. They're using you as a sacrificial lamb just like they said they would. So I mean, realistically, are you gonna you know, basically do what they want and play ball? Or are you gonna keep doing what you're doing? Wes will help us out. He's got no friends on the team. So he says he's gonna throw the challenges. My biggest point was I don't wanna them for the sake of them. I wanted to threaten to them so that way they would start playing fair. They called my bluff and I called theirs. Like, <laughs> they, we both, we both haven't budged. The guy's miserable. Well, that's we'll just, what I'm saying. We'll I think we down. should be nice to him. Let's break him down. We should. I think it would be like nicer because he's just going to throw it again. No, no, no. Those. We break him down. We wait until the guy. No, he's going to just do it again. And Katie, okay, okay, what don't you understand about if we buckle and give him what he wants, he's winning. I don't have that means he wins. His ego is too big for his own good. I don't think we say, oh, oh, Wes. Now we realize that we were wrong. That we'll, we'll just keep you out of there for one time. It's like, win or lose, put him in. It's like, take away all his options until his only option is to play nice. I think this comes to four of us to sign how this works out, dude. You realize what our points are going to be, right? Because you've been in the jungle with us. We also did better than you today. Yeah, that shouldn't even factor into it. Well, then what are your points? Why do you think it's fair for us? <laughs> Overall, we performed way better, dude. Oh, over the whole game? Yeah. Okay, now what's going to happen is we'll debate back and forth with a bunch of bull <laughs> points. That's why we figure out a fair way to do it. Just between the four of us. Nobody else matters, dude. There's a respectable way to figure out who's going into this jungle, and there is the cowardly way. And the fact that Kenny's allowing Wes to run the politics of his team is pathetic. Just yeah. let me take over. No, he's your partner, man. He's allowed to do what he wants to do. I'm allowed, yeah, and I'm allowed to say as his partner, shut up for the rest of the day. Who's it going to be? Johnny and Tyler. Johnny and Tyler? I'm not going to go out of my way to try and sway anyone's vote. Even for Wes, the, the scumbag piece of that he is, this is even low for him. Tyler, who would you guys like to see? Well, I'm not going to vote for myself, so I guess my brethren over here. All right, Wes and Kenny. And Wes and Kenny, who would you guys like to see? We're going to just return the volley. OK, so the score was 4-2. to two. Johnny and Tyler, you guys are going to be going in to face CT and Adam at the elimination round. After everything, we've been on the same page this entire game. And then when rubber meets the road to go around and try and do that what, what, you wanted us to go in? There's a more respectful way to do that, dude. Listen, if I get sent in by Johnny without a heads up, just like a man to man right now, I'm gonna go on a rampage. I'm gonna get all these rookies that have no idea what to do. I'm gonna ban them all on my side. And then what? What's your plan with the rookies that don't know what the f they're doing? Johnny is not a good person. He's not a good friend. I know that Johnny is gonna be my biggest adversary in the house. He's very good politically. Camille, on the other hand, is way more emotionally susceptible. So I wanna get under her skin and read her like a book. Maybe. Honestly, my partner is leading the game. And I am telling you, Let me I get don't out know here. what's going on. Mm. Hey, Johnny, let's just try to clearly beat every partner right now to try to find out what's going on. About what? Oh, he's just, he's got a corner on the table trying to be like, why don't you just tell me what you're doing? What is this? We're just chilling here on a nice night waiting yeah, for Yeah, you're just here. chilling here and telling chilling me that you're going to f*** me over because of my it's partner. Not, not Can we good. talk? Me and you. Wes's game is all based on false bravado and intimidation. He plays this game scared. He plays like a coward. He's an idiot. Nobody's going to listen to him. And it's simple as that. This is what he does. This is the game he plays. You notice he didn't come say anything to me. He came after you. That just shows what a coward piece he is. If he ever brings a game to you again, just be like, I'm not talking to you about this. Goodbye. That's what I want to know. You have a side of you that wants to intimidate people into doing what you want them to do. And I felt like you were getting like that with her. And it's like, listen, dude, if you were just killed to me, we would be on the same level a long time ago. This but when I have my partner telling me that you're running around the house telling people, oh, I'm going to bring you to the end, you're safe. Well, bananas is an X factor. Who are you to run around like you're in shot color, dude? Every game you come into, the politics are different. And you got to switch up your game every time. But me and Wes harbor resentment from past shows. All I was trying to tell her is, I don't respect the way you play the game, but you are good at it. How do you hard. respect the way he's playing the game, though? Like, what's wrong well, with it? Well, because I've done several challenges with him before, and we've had him gotten this him just game. stop. Stop. 
don't no, talk he, like when he it. says he doesn't. We're having a conversation. You don't go out saying shut up, and you don't go out saying stop. Okay. Okay, you've done that to me several know, times, and I'm trying you... to have a conversation with you like a normal person. We didn't have to be here talking to you right now. Go. And I Let's actually like. That's that. Let's go, Camilla. That is what you wanted. That is what I wanted, sort of. As much as I hate West, as much as I think he's a piece of shit, he is a vet. Usually in these games, the rookies are the first ones to go in. <laughs> I don't know what my decision is. So congratulations to Johnny and Frank. You guys Woo! made the finals. C-Team West, is it nice to have company? Know that you guys are going to be going against them or what? Yeah, he's throwing up after three minutes. I'm totally cool with it. <laughs> you have no <laughs> reason to say <laughs> mother <laughs> You got carried up half the last challenge by Kenny. Come on, get up. Do you want me to carry you? Oh my god. Good thing you got CT as your partner, because you would have been home yeah, months Johnny, ago. Bro. Johnny, it was a long time ago. Oh, You're not in nearly the shape you were You would have made it through week one, bro. Yeah, you if got that. It. Good luck to both of you guys. Good luck. He always, he doesn't he know always do, goes back to, to the, the same past. thing. Yeah. That's all you got to go on is your record, Wes. What else do you have to go on? Johnny, dude, what else do you have to go on? Johnny, why are you What so else mad? do you have to go why on? Get out of his face, Johnny. Get out of his face. What else do you He's a man. He can defend himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Johnny can give a joke, but he can't take it. And you know what? That's not going to happen on my watch anymore. You mess with Wes, you mess with me. He's my teammate. Now you're going to deal with me now. I don't know if you know you have to mount a character. That's all you got to go on. How about you leave him alone? Johnny, yeah, you can't talk to Damn it, Wes and CT. Can't you guys just let us have our spotlight for 10 seconds? No, no, no there were these no teams. There were no teams I won, and you went home right away. How about six years ago? You ain't the same you used to be, Johnny. You suck. You up like a bitch. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. What you gonna do up, bro? What you ain't the shape you You're such a loser. Hey, what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? You did well, we'll see. You did well, we'll see. You did well, we'll see. Yeah, that's right. What? What? We don't have to be nice no more. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Why is this going on right now? You guys are both in the finals. Chill out. I defend my teammate. Yeah, that's right. Good luck with the rest of your life, Johnny. That's right. Good luck with that. What I thought. This mother. He can dish it, but he can't no, take he can't it. No He's a loser. I don't care. What do you, you have? You cheat on what every girl you, you have? have. I have a BMW, a Porsche, a monster truck, a house, and 30 companies. Uh, uh, my uh, uh, <laughs> Porsche? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Are these matchbox cars or do these actually exist? Are these parked in your I want him to know that I am here to make his life living hell. And when he goes home, he won't have a paycheck because I'm going to take it and he might actually have to get a job or have his mom keep paying his rent. This is the victory lap. This is the last stretch. My first win, it's, it's right there. We know that the second we throw the smoke bomb and it makes a gigantic boom, Johnny and Frank, they'll know that this game is over. the horn and that basically means that we are stuck here on Nightmare Island in second place and uh, doesn't feel good. You had to decide which couple you wanted to send into the dome to face off with Leroy and Naya. So, who's it gonna be? Nani and Bananas. All right, Nani and Bananas, come on up. The way today went down is Wes's wet dream. He can't stand Leroy, he hates me. So getting an opportunity to put the two of us in together, Wes might be peeing in his pants as we speak. It's like hell froze over. Everyone is absolutely speechless. This is the weight of the world jumping off of my back. Holy sh It is party time. That is fun. Yes. Oh, man, this is fun. I want Bananas to hear me cheer. No one wants to see Bananas go to another final. No one wants him around any longer. Zach and John A, tonight you guys are going to be competing against the reigning champions of the Battle of the Exile, and they are no joke. Who do you think it's going to be? I think it's Brittany and Adam. I think it's going to be Bananas. Or Riley and Avery. Bring him out. Here they come. Holy moly. Oh my god! Yeah! Oh you guys have been here this whole time? What's up, Chad? What's up, Chad? Huh? 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 Huh
red face, Wes. You look like someone just walked over your grave, bro. Nice to see you guys, too. The banana that you love to hate is back to set the record straight. And we're about to turn this place upside down, man. I just pinched myself, and this isn't a nightmare. I'm awake right now. Good luck, you guys. We should go up first. At this point, I mean, I feel like we got a second lease on life. I mean, the feeling is indescribable. I think Wes feels like somebody just took a big, giant dump on his birthday cake. So, Sarah and Bananas, you guys have to choose two teams to go into the jungle to face off with Tony and Camilla. I actually, for once, had hopes that history wouldn't repeat itself. I hate his little speeches. But, uh, this person is still a spineless piece of shit. So my vote is gonna be for Wes and Nani. So, who's the first team? But... <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't need to hear it. It's just a bunch of baloney. It, well, it's Wes and Nani, so he made that one easy. You're an idiot. Who is the first team that you're nominating? Nani and Wes. You and Nani are going against Dario and Nicole. And for the first time ever, we have Bloodlines facing off in an elimination round. Go, go, go. Wes, get going! Go, go. Wes and Nani, we've seen you guys do some amazing things over the years, but tonight you came up a little bit short. This is your time here in Mexico. Take care of yourselves. Good game, everyone. So, Wes, now it's up to your team to decide on your opponent. Camilla, who are you voting for? You want to ask me who I want? Who do you want? I want bananas. <laughs> The only move to make is to go as big as possible, as early as possible, so the whole game can be flipped on its head. So yeah, I'm gonna be going up against uh, Wes, the gingerbread man, the human spring roll. I can't say I'm surprised, because nothing on the challenge ever surprises me. It's been a long time coming. If I could choose my ideal elimination, it would be something physical. It would be something that involves pads, helmets, and um, Wes stuck to the bottom of my shoe. All right, guys, the game is tied. West won, Bananas won. Next point wins, loser goes home. Champs ready? Left, left. Stop moving. Seven, Double change. Double change. Right a little bit. Right there. Settle. Left. Right in front of you. He's right in front of you about five feet. Get closer. Today was your day. Will the rivalry continue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bananas, unfortunately, this ends your time on Champs vs. Pros. Good job. Losing never feels good. Losing the West feels worse. But from here on out, it's going to get a lot more vicious and a lot more brutal. All right, Bananas, America's favorite ginger, West, West Bergman. Why, wow, let's go! Full confidence in my ally. I think this rivalry between him and Wes is gonna light a little fire under your ass. Wes and my rivalry is more famous and more well known than the Capulets and the Montagues, except Wes was kind of like the ugly child that was banished from one of the families. I love being called out by Bananas. He's got blinders on when it comes to me. <laughs> he hasn't like stopped and paid attention and realized that I'm substantially stronger with substantially better cardio than him. And I don't think that he's checked out my partner's quads. Quad Just, squad right here. Quad squad. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Peace. 
Jason. I just want to beat Wes, all right? I took a very big risk by calling him out. And this is really going to set the tone, I think, for the next few days. I rest in my feet, I'm to I felt it all, but I can't feel none. Being partnered with Bananas, like, this is a challenge legend. Like, I don't want to be the screw-up partner who doesn't do good, so. Where's the monster truck? It's not coming. My arms have turned into complete noodles. Okay, guys, great challenge. Yeah. Nice work. Monster of a challenge. There are three teams that were above the rest. Those three teams are gonna form the tribunal. So, those teams are... Car Maria and Theo. <laughs> Bananas and Morgan. I lost to Bananas. Oh, God, that... It feels so bad to even say. I do not want to see bananas in the tribunal. I never want to see bananas in a position of power. Oh, that just makes my skin crawl thinking about it. Wes's self-esteem right now is at an all-time low, which is saying a lot because I feel like every time Wes looks in the mirror, it's a blow to his self-esteem. So, Wes and D, Ninja Natalie, Polly, and Cam and Beast. You three teams form the tribunal. Congratulations, you guys. Back your bags, bananas. I didn't fly all the way from Kansas City to not throw in bananas. I'm an inch away from being able to get this done. It's going to be an absolute blast. Morgan and I stood no chance today. The majority of the house made sure of that. But the fact that Zach went out of his way to help Wes win, it's unbelievable. It's looking pretty tight, tighter than I want it to be. It's hard to say who has more flags, and so I'm biting my nails. The winner of tonight's elimination round will stay in the game, but also take control of the relic. So, Bananas and Morgan, you guys got 15, correct? Zach and Saida. You guys got 18 correct. <laughs> Bananas, Morgan, unfortunately you couldn't get it done, so this ends your time here on the challenge. Take care of yourselves. Love you, Morgan. It's one thing coming onto a challenge and knowing who your enemies are. It's another thing when you have enemies in your own camp. We were working against a lot of forces. We're just going to have to regroup and hopefully come back better sound mind and body next time. You bananas. <laughs> you deserve this. You know it. I hate you. I got you again. I am never going to stop going for bananas until he formally retires. See you later. I don't vote for rookies. So what I'll do is I'll throw my vote away. I'll throw it on someone with a good sense of humor. Wes wants to get rid of me ASAP. Last season, we didn't get on. I know for a fact this season, we're not going to get on to. As long as I'm here, yeah. as long as Wes is here, if everyone knows that Wes and I will never, we'll never, we'll never yeah. ever yeah. Yeah. Wes is still going to go around and try and pretend or at least give the impression that he has that he has more power than he yeah. actually does. Wes is doing the same game that he's done every season. And he's only going after the guys that he can manipulate and get them to do and do his dirt work. But this is because there's some people who know his yeah. if you give him enough luck, he's gonna end up hanging himself. I'm telling you about how I was yeah. yeah. And I, he basically explained his entire plan in front of me while he thought I was sleeping. And that made me mad. Yeah. And so then I woke up and I went over to Josh and I was like, what do you think? And then he picked me up and spun me around in circles. Yeah. Wes and I have never and will never be on the same page. We will never work together. We will never see eye to eye. 
Eliminating West from this game is more important to me at this point than winning a final. I just hate what he's doing. And like, look at me and how it's, he's so sweet. <laughs> no, but I don't like any of these guys. You know what I mean? It's gonna be, it's gonna be <laughs> But, Wes, I think you should come down to me, mate. I think it's only fair that you come against me. This is my moment to prove to everyone that I need to be taken seriously. And by me calling that the biggest and baddest player in Challenge history shows how much guts I really have. Oh. Wes, come down here, Wes. You are crazy. Uh, absolutely not. You are crazy <laughs> in every single I'm house you find here. I've proved myself. No, you haven't. I've won more no, than you everybody. Haven't. Well, beat me then. This isn't a call-out game. I'll, I'll hear you out, and I'm going to let everyone ooh. But I'm not stupid. I'm not coming down there. I'm not prepped. I'm not ready. I don't need to do this. I've already proven myself. So listen, no more talking, guys. Now, tribunal. You guys have to send one guy from either team to face Bear. Zach, who's your vote for? Uh, I'm going to vote for Theo. So Laurel, who are you going to vote for? Wes. West. If the guy actually had a soul, I think it would have left his body at this point. You just threw down one of our best players over some emotional bull and I can't help but feel completely and utterly betrayed by him. You went against our team, and you just turned on our own. All right, so Wes, how do you feel about this? It's time to entertain them, is it bring not? Bring the smoke, Wes. Bring I'll the bring, smoke, I'll man. bring the smoke, and if How's not... How's it feel? Going to be third going home. I'm sending you home, baby. Yeah, I mean, I either beat you it's or... It's a long I... flight home, Wes. Yeah, it is. It's a long flight home. Yeah, I know. I'm, uh, I'm aware of the rules. I'm just really kind of still in shock. I uh, really thought that I was just gonna watch an elimination tonight, and now I'm going into a very physical one against a very uh, annoying man. I mean, I've got a big target on my back in every game that I play, partly because of my mouth, and I'm a little cocky, very cocky. There is an interesting one to go in against, because it's like, if I beat him, I'm gonna get no credit. If I lose to him, I'm gonna get made fun of for at least a half a decade. I guess there's never fighting in real life. If someone hit my head with the disc one, I will leave the ball and I will break his bones. Every ball. Hey, you guys off the ball there. his panties and spanked him in front of the entire house. And it was, uh, it was a pretty impressive sight to see. Tonight just could not get any better. Suck the suck, Wes. Listen, I know that people kind of blame Laurel and Josh for what happens. I do not, not 1%, literally 0%, it is not their fault. It is all banana's fault, and he will pay. 
at the end of the day, you know, it's just a game. This time, they got the best U.S., but I'm sure you'll be back sliding in DMs and making all types of alliances and doing your West thing. Wes, you're gonna send yeah, me a DM? Thank you. I'm gonna send your mom a DM. <laughs> Perfect. 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 That's a start. That's a start, Wes.